Thank you for watching this video. And again, I apologize for the uh, rough edits. Have a great day and enjoy the, enjoy the tutorial. All right, hello everyone. Uh, I was just uh, making sure it's on. So today we are going to be making a uh, ukulele. So let's get into it. Um, so first things first is I'm going to be getting an image of the of a ukulele and pulling this off of a website. And so are the dimensions I'm pulling off. So I already downloaded it. If you wanted to, you could just go to the Kala website, like, you know, just open any uke page and just click on the image and download the image. So I'm just going to go insert, insert image, uh, insert from my computer, boom, 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 boom. and I'll choose the picture, which is right here. I'm going to select the plane on which the picture is going to rest and I'm just going to hit OK. Uh, so first things first is the uh, important thing to keep in mind is this isn't going to be like the actual size of the uke. We're just going to trace it out first and once we trace it out, uh, we're going to scale it up to the appropriate size. Um, so what we're going to do is this is part one of two. So in part one, we're going to first do the body. Just right here. All right, we're going back here. We're gonna do create sketch. We're gonna sketch right on top of it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a line straight through it. Quick explanation here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, measure the center line and then use that center line to acknowledge what is the current size of the ukulele. And just there using a is. simple ratio, I know by how much I need to scale up the image. Right there. Right, and then this is going to tell us by how much we want to expand our image. So that way we can get a pretty solid, uh, accurate shape. So this is point four, 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 four. So what we do now is we plug that in, we divide 11 point, excuse me, that was a yawn. We divide 11.75 by 0 0.44. We'll get 26.6, 26.46. we do now is we go back to this image right here. We hit finish sketch, we go back, we right click down here and we hit edit feature. And uh, we scale this by the value we got. I got which was 26.46 and we hit OK. I want to zoom out. All right. And then now this is going to be the size of our actual ukulele, give or take a little bit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our actual line. We can get rid of this small reference sketch right here. That was just a reference to figure out how big we wanted to expand our image. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start tracing. So we pick, we open our sketch, we select the plane. Um, I like to rotate it a little bit. Um, we're gonna draw our center line right here. I want to make sure the center line goes all the way through. There we go. And then now using the spline, I'm going to start tracing the uh, uh, out, outer border. So at every like major turn, That's where we do it. There we go. And then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to cheat a little bit and only do half of it. Okay. 
this is going to need to flatten out a bit. Going to hit the screen. Oh, there we go. And then we have our half traced. Very nice. It's looking pretty great. Um, really quick, I just want to see. I'm going to trim the top of this right here and the bottom. Then we're going to do a straight line up and down just to see how long it is. It is 11.77. A little bit larger, but that's no problem. No problem at all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this sketch right there. So we're going to hit mirror. So this outer sketch is mirrored. And we're going to select the mirror line, which is the center line right here. We're going to hit OK. All right, now things are starting to come together quite nicely. So now we're going to be, let's focus on making the bottom of this first. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this opacity to like, or let's make, let's make the picture invisible for now. So we're going to go to edit each and turn this into let's change it into three so that way we still have you know we can still kind of see our inspiration right there all right and then we're going to go back into the sketch we're going to hit oh we're still in the sketch very nice so next things next is we're going to extrude what are we going to do give me a moment let me think steps the best way to go about this I think the best way to go about this is we're going to select the outer layer right first we're gonna make the walls so the walls in the bottom are going to be one piece so now we're going to hit offset, right? Select. Let's select these lines here, offset. Ah, interesting. I'm gonna hit cancel real quick. Let's see, let's get rid of this line. Right, so now this is all one piece. So we're going to try again, offset. And we're going to select these two lines. And we're going to make the difference, uh, I think, 0.1 will be fine. Yeah, 0.1. Yeah, I think that's way more than enough. Is it 0.1 inches? You're gonna hit OK. And then now what we're going to do is I'm gonna hit E. E. And E is a shortcut for the extrusion. Um, but if you don't have it, you're, uh, you hit finish sketch and you hit extrude right here. And then uh, you wanna select the profile, you wanna select this inside area right here. And uh, distance we're gonna put here. 3.125, oh yeah, you want to make sure that's clear, 3.125, and if you give it a moment, right there, so now you see we have our, our ukulele starting to take shape, it's looking pretty nice. All right, so now we're going to do the back. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see. Let's rotate it. 
All right, we're going to do one more sketch. Um, let me sketch. Sketch on That's the surface. And then should be able to select this and select this line right here. Uh, and there should be a option here. Just give me a moment. I'm going to need to find it real quick. Yeah, let's see something. Let's see what happens if we hit extrude. And on profile, we hit this profile right here. It's actually perfect. All right, so we'll make the back 0.1 as well. 0 0.1. And then let's have it go in the opposite direction. Let's have it built into it. So we'll have, we'll put a negative here so that way it goes the opposite direction and we'll hit OK. All right, so now we have our, the bottom of our ukulele right there. So one thing to, one important thing to keep in mind is um, <coughs> ukuleles aren't completely hollow. They have these sound posts, sound ribs inside of them. So next we're going to be modeling the sound rib. So there we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sketch the sound ribs right now. <coughs> Here we go. Um, so this isn't going to be a real ukulele, but we're going to try to get as close as we can. Um, so first things first is, as you can still see, the circle right here, very faintly, the hole where the hole is supposed to be on the image. Um, actually, let's bring that back. We'll hit Edit Feature and make it 19%, and we'll hit OK. All right, so now you can see the hole a little bit better. It's right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Sketch. Uh, we're going to hit we're going to hit this bottom. You want to make sure, I'd suggest you rotate a little bit to make sure you're hitting this bottom image right there so we can sketch right on that surface. I'm going to rotate it back up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box right here. Let's see the type of boxes I can draw. A rectangle, two point rectangle, center rectangle. Now uh, let's just draw with our lines. So it should sit like right under there, maybe be about the length. So in this case, it's 1.1 inches. And then I want to try to make it uh, like 0.2 inches is fine. And then we'll bring it back to center. And then what we're going to do, uh, as you can imagine, is we're going to mirror it. So we're going to select. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. I needed a uh, a line for it to mirror about. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our lines right here, and we're going to hit mirror objects. Let's mirror those objects, mirror line, select line. We're going to hit the center line. We're going to hit OK. 
and then we're going to extrude it about let's see here let me think about half an inch I think yeah 0.6 inches so we're going to first fill it the sides we want it nice and smooth right here we're gonna fill it the sides fill it all the corners I just hit fill it and it's doing a 0.1 radial fill it on there and then we're going to hit extrude Oh wait, it didn't it didn't do the last fillet. Oh no. Alright, ready and fill it. Zero point one. There we go. Now everything's filleted. We're gonna hit extrude. I'm not gonna extrude both of these. Uh half an inch, zero point five inches. Um Yes, we want a join, and then let's see in which direction. Yes, it's going the right direction. All right. Uh, so next things next is these sound posts don't look exactly like that. There's a little bit of a chamfer to them here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a cut. Before making any edits to this sketch, what we must first do is gain a clear view of it. We do this by going into the inspect element and temporarily cutting our model in half. Alright, so now that we have this, alright, there's a section view that we can use, right? So we're going to hit um, inspect uh, section analysis, which is right here. And we're going to hit this face right there, and we're just going to drag it back. And this temporarily allows us to see the cross section of our model. So don't worry, our model isn't actually cut in half. It's just a temporary. Temporarily. So while we work on the sketch here, right, so we'll do create a sketch. Sketch right there. And then we're going to... Curve this upward a little bit, and that will do fine. And then we'll add two more reference lines right here, there, and right there. And then we'll add our center line, and then we're going to mirror this. So we're going to hit mirror. Uh, objects to mirror. We're going to hit this line right here and we're going to mirror it about this center line right there. All right, that didn't seem to work out too well, but that's okay. All right, so what we're doing is we're shaping this uh, sound bar a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit E for extrude and we're just going to make these two selections and we're going to hit cut. And then we're going to rotate this object around real quick and where it says extent, we're going to choose to object and we're going to hit the opposite surface and then we're going to hit OK. And then there we've got our sand sound bar. All right, and then now what we're going to do is we're going to add a fillet. Hmm. That is not what I wanted, but it should be fine. I don't suspect that will do too much damage. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a fillet here. No, we'll do, we'll reflect to the cut first. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to select the action we just did, which is this extrude down here. And we are going to go into modify and select mirror again. So under modify or create, mirror, under create, we're going to mirror it. Uh, features in a mirror plane, we're going to select our mirror plane. And for our mirror plane, we're going to just select the mirror plane that's like right down the middle, which is this mirror plane right here, which is the It doesn't have it. It's not highlighting for some reason, but it's the front mirror plane right here. This one right here, and it reflects it on the other side. Okay, so now everything is nice and reflected. Now we're going to fill it everything. Fill it. We're gonna fill it these sides and make them nice and clean. It's a little bit tall, but I think it'll do. And then we're going to add, what, 0.2 maybe? Let's see what 0.2 does. 0.2 is too much. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. All right. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do next is usually there would be another larger one down. Um, but I'm starting to run out of time, so I'm going to skip the second sound post, and we're going to start working on creating the, uh, the top of the ukulele. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit... There's a... Uh, uh, let's do... Measure... What is it that I wanted to do? Section analysis, that's what it was. Let's see, how do we turn off this section analysis? You guys are gonna have to excuse me. First time I use it on Fusion 360. Okay, I guess in order to undo the section analysis, we gotta make another one. And then show everything. All right. All right, so our next part is going to be the, uh, the top. And since we want it kind of 3D printable, um, we're not going to make the top directly on it, even though that would be really easy. We're going to make the top a uh, separate part. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new sketch right here, new design drawing, and then we want everything to be exact. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy a sketch. So let's see, which we're going to go here. Trying to think just to make sure. All right, we're going to copy this sketch right here. So we're going to do edit sketch and then sketches of the inside. That won't do. So we're going to have to finish sketch. We're going to go on this sketch of the outside. We're going to hit edit sketch and we're going to it's 
file. No. Yeah, let's see what happens. We select everything, right click. Um, hit copy. And then in our new tab, we'll hit sketch, create sketch, hit there, paste, and then control V. And there's our sketch. Very nice. Very nice. Exact sketch we had. So what we're going to do is we're going to extrude. Let's see, what are we going to do? First things first, we're going to extrude the top. Finish. Sketch All right. So we're going to hit E for extrude, and we're just going to select both. And we're going to extrude it 0.1 for the thickness of the top. Okay. And then let's insert the picture just to make sure we get our hole right and then we'll be done. And then uh, in the next lesson we'll do the neck, which shouldn't be too bad. Then after doing the neck, we'll make an assembly out of everything. So we do insert except for my computer. Right there. All right, and then I'll just try to match it up as best as we can. Right there. And then, like I said, we're not making anything too surgically precise. So, as long as you get a decent eyeball look on there, you'll be fine. So now we're going to enter our last sketch of the day. And then we're going to be sketching uh, right on the surface right here. Create sketch. Ah, oh, sorry guys. So we want to make sure our sketch is in the center. So we're gonna trace this center line down, and then we're gonna create a two-point circle. Put one up there one down there and we're going to hit E for extrude and then we're going to select this sketch E for extrude uh, I was on the opposite side it seems There we go, we'll do E for extrude. Then we'll just make a hole, just drag it straight down. We'll hit OK. And then voila, we have the top of our ukulele. We'll hit here, edit feature, make this invisible, or pretty invisible. And we'll hit OK. And voila, we have our top.
and then I'll be covering the uh, the neck the rest of it in the next workshop so in the next one we're gonna make the neck and then we're gonna learn how to combine the neck with this and this as well uh, you can't see it with this so that way we'll have our full our full uke.